Hello, I'm Harold Metzl, founder of 10 Talent Stewardship, where we show you how to develop more robust stewardship. Have you felt frustrated at times that people who manage sizable assets aren't more generous? Oh sure, they'll pony up with a bit larger than normal gift on occasion, but they seem hesitant to release the kind of gifts that you know they are capable of. Now these people are as committed to Christ as anyone. They know the scripture well and believe that God loves a cheerful and generous giver. So what's holding them back? And what would be God's will, his perfect plan for those people? How much of it should they give away? All of it? Some of it? How much? To the rich young ruler, Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, Go and sell all that you have and give to the poor and you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Well, is that what Jesus would say to everyone who has riches? Of course not. The New Testament refers to many wealthy followers of Christ and no one else in the entire Bible was given that advice. Jesus was dealing with the matter of the young man's heart, not his money. Think about it. If a rich man gives away all that he has, it might do some temporary good, but, would it, but it would also make a financially strong man weak, devoid of that strength, no longer able to use it, but having to start all over again. Apply that same logic to any field. If a successful man or woman abandons the strength that they've spent an entire lifetime building, they're squandering potential. Let me go off on a tangent here. If a world-class surgeon, superstar entrepreneur, or even the founding pastor of a megachurch retires early, maybe because they now have enough, what a tremendous waste. Do those people have a right to lay it down? Well, sure, of course, from a self-serving point of view. But the Bible teaches that those who would do God's will must first love God, then love people, and then what? Go serve, to preach, to heal, to lift the burden of the repressed. Well, if that's true, then anyone with strength, if they just lay it down, I believe it violates the principles of stewardship. Jesus taught that he who manages well what has been given will be given even more. Why? What for? I believe it's so he can use it, put it to work. Simply pressing people to give bigger and bigger financial gifts doesn't get to the heart of the issue. It isn't the point. Ask instead not for people to give up their money or whatever their strength may be, but to use it, apply it, make it effective for the sake of the kingdom of God. When we awaken the heart of a person and ask them to give what they are rather than what they have, we tap into treasure that is far more valuable than money. Now in part two of this series, we'll look at the one most important activity that triggers wealthy people to become more generous. I look forward to seeing you then.